Okay, so let's keep this one short and sweet. Tarsier Studios, the development team behind the Little Nightmares games, have effectively jumped ship and are now moving on to create new IPs as a development studio that's shown what it can do as a game development team that stands on its own two feet. And that's a whole separate video that I'm sure other people have already made regarding that whole topic. What I'm here to discuss is simply something that I've personally noticed in the game itself, namely the chapter selection screen of Little Nightmares 2. Much like Little Nightmares 1, everyone was expecting, or is expecting I should say, DLC or add-ons for the second game. Now there's many unanswered questions and other aspects of the Little Nightmares lore that could be fleshed out essentially. So, of course, the natural line of thinking is that we would have got DLC for Little Nightmares 2. And given that Bandai Namco have said that they are energized and still wish to continue with the series, then it seems the reason that there will be some DLC releases in the future. And something that I personally think confirms these future DLCs is the dial on the chapter selection screen television that you see displayed within the game itself. So if you look at the dial, I'm switching from one, two, three, four, five, and then it resets. So as you know, the base game, All Little Nightmares 2 has five chapters. And Little Nightmares 1 also had five chapters. And what followed from the five chapters? Three DLC packs, eight in total, stands the reason that maybe the plan was or is to go ahead and release three for Little Nightmares 2. Three DLC packs, of course. So, again, one, two, three, four, and five. And then the dial switches back around. So then it's interesting to note that those three notches remain untouched, essentially. And if you were to follow suit from the first game, then I personally would say that we should expect three DLC packs to come out for Little Nightmares 2. Maybe flesh out Six's story, maybe delve more into Mono, or it could be about someone entirely new like the Runaway Kid was in the first game. After all, the comic book app for Little Nightmares 2 seemed to hint that there are other stories to tell regarding other children in the Pale City, as you can see from that image there on the screen and from their little comic book stories on the app itself. So at this stage, it's basically a waiting game. I'm optimistic that we will see other things with Little Nightmares 2. The game was too much of a hit. In fact, it seemed like way more of a hit than the first game. So hang tight. I'm sure we'll be back with 6 Mono and God knows whatever else is waiting for us out there very soon.